ready to learn about the coloured echidna. I saw this same story in Dolby and now we have it at Tara Lagoon. So the coloured echidna by Eunice Day. Dedication to my three sons, their children and their children's children. I am proud to be your mother, grandmother and great grandmother. So she might be getting along in years this Eunice Day. Let's go to the next one. Colored echidna. A long time ago, a group of echidnas lived close to the blue and green mountains. All the echidnas were black and white with a little grey. Next. The coloured echidna. The coloured echidna was not happy. Wherever he went, his quills changed to match the landscape. But he could never look like the other echidnas, no matter how hard he tried. His rainbow colours always shone through. Coloured echidna just wanted to be like his family and friends. Why am I different? He asked his parents. We do not know, his dad said. We love you just the way you are, his mum said. He decided to ask the elders if they knew. Only wise old owl knows why you were so colourful, the elders told him. Coloured echidna decided to ask wise old owl. Head towards the east, that is where she lives, the elders said. His parents came to see him off. Remember, we always love you just the way you are, they said. And Coloured Echidna walked towards the east where the mountains looked dark, yellow and blue. The moon seemed to follow him every step of the way. And Coloured Echidna walked all night. Black Crow and his brother flew down to him. I like your glossy black feathers, Coloured Echidna said. I like all your beautiful colours, said the black crow. What are you? I'm an echidna. Why are you so colourful? asked black crow's brother. I do not know, but I heard that wise old owl can tell me. Good luck, said black crow and his brother. Coloured echidna kept walking towards the east. And along came Goanna. All of your colours make everything look so bright, said Goanna. What are you? I'm an echidna, said Coloured Echidna. He noticed Goanna's beautiful shiny yellow spots. I have never seen an echidna so colourful in all my days, said Goanna. I'm going to find wise old owl. She will tell me why I have all these colours. Good luck, said Goanna. The coloured echidna kept walking towards the east. Up ahead, coloured echidna saw Mother Emu and her two chicks. He loved the blue colours of Mother Emu's feathers. He loved the striped lines of young emu and baby emu. Mum, what is that? Young emu said, it looks like a very colourful echidna, Mother Emu said. Why are you such pretty colours, baby emu asked, coloured echidna. I do not know, said coloured echidna. But I heard wise old owl can tell me. Good luck, the family said. Coloured echidna kept walking towards the east. And Coloured Echidna walked and walked until he arrived at the Yellow and Blue Mountains. He got there just as the sun was setting. He 
His heart beat fast. This was it. He would finally find out why he was all these colours. Maybe Wise Old Owl could even teach him how to look like everyone else. And Colour the Kidna saw Wise Old Owl in the branches of a gum tree. She flew down. Are you looking for me, Colour Kidna? Yes, please. Can you tell me why I'm these colours? Why am I not like everyone else? You are different for a reason. Your colours make people happy. Everyone has only a few colours, but you have them all. That is special. So my colours are not a mistake. Coloured Echidna looked at his colours. He saw how beautiful they were. Your colours are given to you by the Great Spirit, said wise old owl. And he never makes a mistake. You need to accept your difference. Go back to your family and spread your colours of the rainbow everywhere you go. And Coloured Echidna was now excited about all his colours. Thank you, wise old owl. He also thanked the Great Spirit who never makes a mistake. The next day, Coloured Echidna walked back home. He thought about Black Crow and his brother. He thought about Kawana. He thought about Mother Emu and her two chicks. He thought about wise old owl and how all the animals were just beautiful, just the way they were. And Coloured Echidna smiled. He knew for the first time in his life and he was special, just the way he was. He looked up and saw a beautiful rainbow in the sky and the rainbow glowed and coloured echidna glowed too. What a wonderful feeling to be who he was. About the author and illustrator, Eunice Date was born in Claremont, Queensland. Her tribal name is Una Kanji. She is an elder in Blackwater where she now lives. Eunice has participated in NAIDOC committees and has used her art to bridge the gap between her people and non-Indigenous peoples. She's been down doing workshops in arts and storytelling for over 15 years. She loves the colours on canvas. She's worked in schools with whoever wants to know more about the culture. Her ideal is that they learn that sharing and caring was a part of her people's culture and still is.